I'm sending emails to my clients from my business email, but some of them are not getting my emails. Some are getting them. Actually, my domain had malware. That's not good. That's why hosting blocked the emails, but after cleaning my website, I'm still facing this issue. So if you're having mail delivery issues, there's a few obvious things that you can check. I have a number of guides on the channel, which specifically cover if you have a workspace account or if you have a Google Gmail personal consumer account, how to check for emails that are incoming. Now, if you're sending emails, by far most of that advice can be followed as well, specifically relating to DNS settings. If you don't have your business domain name configured correctly for your DKIM, SPF, DMARC records, sometimes your emails are not going to land in people's inboxes and that solves most problems. But this person mentioned something interesting and that was blacklisting. And when you have malware on your domain, that's typically blacklist related. And you might be wondering, well, what is a blacklist? Well, that's the reputation of your domain name. And this is public information. And it's kind of one of those systems that works in the background of the world's IT email infrastructure that you never really need to know about until something goes wrong. Now, this person said they had something go wrong. They had malware on the domain. And I assume that means like a website that was hacked and sending spam emails from their web server. But how do you check if your email is healthy or if it's blacklisted? Thankfully, there's plenty of tools that let you do that. And my favorite email tool is MX Toolbox. Been using this for a very long time. I think we should make them a channel sponsor. We're gonna go to our toolbox here. Look at that, they've even got a link right at the top of the page. So you click on a blacklists and you type in your domain name. So I'm gonna type in IT Genius. Whoops, I did a little typo there itgenius.com and it's going to tell me if I am on any of the public blacklists. Now, if there's a timeout, don't worry too much about that. It just means that server didn't respond to the tool in time. What you're looking for, if you've got problems, is are there any that have an actual report of, yes, you are on the blacklist? That would mean that you've got email reputation problems. Now, how do you fix your email reputation? Well, obviously first you have to stop the spam wherever that's coming from. Usually that's a hacked website. Sometimes it's a compromised computer, but these days because Gmail runs on the web, it's pretty rare if you're running Google Workspace to run into blacklisting issues. Now, one of the things we monitor for our customers on concierge plans is your status on blacklists. And if you end up on a blacklist, we actually get an alert and we reach out proactively to you to help you resolve the problem. One of the perks of being on Concierge, and if you're interested in that, head along to itgenius.com and check out our plans. If you want help fixing your DNS, we have a quick fix available on our website. Head along to itgenius.com, go to quick fix, and our number one most popular product here is our DNS setup and fix. It's 300 Australian dollary dues, and we will fix whatever DNS or mail delivery issues that you have. And there, if you're in the good United States of America, that's only 100 and I don't know, $80 or something. It's very, 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 very affordable. So go check that out. But if you want to remove yourself from a blacklist after you've finished cleaning up the site and stopping the source of the emails being sent out from your domain erroneously, you do have the option of either just waiting a couple of days and eventually they'll recheck the blacklist and it'll be cleared. Or you can reach out to each one of these blacklist providers that have your domain listed and you usually fill out a form of some sort and let them know, hey, yes, I took remediating actions and I'm no longer spamming from this domain. Please remove me from your blacklist. Now, the moment you end up on a blacklist, you basically will have trouble sending email to anyone because most email providers will read all of these blacklists when they're choosing to receive your email or not from your domain. It's their way of making sure that they keep inboxes clean for everyone that they're delivering mail to and no one likes to receive spam. So if someone's a known spammer, you don't want their emails going into your inbox. So this is a good system, it's pretty efficient. Just be careful where your email address ends up. And if you're using modern cloud hosting and you've got Cloudflare sitting in front of your website, it's pretty unlikely for sites to be hacked these days. Uh, unless you're sitting on you know, an insecure server and you haven't updated WordPress in three years and it's got out of date plugins. Okay, yeah, sure, there, then maybe you'll get in trouble. But for the most part, if you're using Google Workspace, you're using Cloudflare in front of your website, you're using WordPress and it's up to date and you've got a reputable web host, you're probably gonna be okay. Good luck out there. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world 
with problems just like this, click the link below to get started.